guys, it's Candy, and I'm here. Um, I haven't been feeling very well. If you guys follow me like on Facebook or Twitter, you guys know I went to the emergency room last Friday because my ear was really bad and I still can't hear out of it. And I hate the drops they have. They make me put in my ear. They're horrible. Um, but I have my little mustache mug of tea, which is helping. And if you saw my tutorial on how to make this mug, you may have one of these yourself too. I thought it would be a good time to do like a how to look cute or feel cute kind of makeup tutorial for when you're sick. Because I, if you're like me, I don't like any makeup on when I'm sick. Like it feels like it's just suffocating my face. So I'm going to show you like a little how to at least feel a little cuter when you walk by the mirror and you're not like, oh gosh, it looks so horrible. So the first thing that I do is I put um, the Saint Tropez, the bronzing mousse. I put this all over my face and neck. It gives you like a little more color and glow so you don't look so like sickly, just well sick, you know. It's a little more pricey, but it's worth it because it makes you look better and it lasts you forever. It lasts so long. So I put that all over my face and neck first, and then I just put moisturizer on, especially around the nose. I've been blowing my nose so much, my nose was like raw. And then I'm gonna show you basic quick foundation, because you just wanna put foundation to kinda cancel out some of the redness. Cause even though you're like really pale and like pasty looking sometimes, then you get really red in odd places. I'm gonna show you, this is my favorite, this L'Oreal. Um, the foundation, but it has this little brush. So when I'm sick, I don't really want to put this brush all over my face and then have like the germs on the brush. So I'll just twist a little bit up. I'm like, I've washed my hands like every time I touch my nose or anything, I've washed my hands so many times. So I just washed my hands and you can put this on a plate or a sponge. I'm just going to put this on my hand just like that. And I'm just going to kind of spread this around just to even out the color. We're not trying to conceal anything. Put this all over the forehead area. I know I'm not going to go too close to the eyes because we're going to go over that with the concealer. Now, because I am like germophobia and I just touched my face and I don't want to get any more sick, I'm going to go wash my hands again and I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a Q-tip and I'm just going to scrape a little out so I don't get any of my germiness on there. So I have a little bit on my Q-tip and I'm just going to either put it, I'm going to put mine on the back of my hand. You can put it on a plate or whatever you want. And... I'm going to just warm it up on my hand. And then you're just going to conceal the areas that are really red around your face. And the areas that get really red when you're sick are usually your eyelids. And my fingers are cold because I've washed them in icy cold water, so it feels really good on my eyelids because they just feel sore. And then you can do the same trick that I always do for under eye circles, a little triangle under the eyes here. And just go underneath so you kind of get rid of those yucky rings that look like you haven't slept for days. Okay, now I'm going to take concealer over. Your chin always seems to get red too, so we're just going to kind of cover that up. And I'm just going to go around the mouth a little bit. And then with a different finger, I'm going to go around the sides of the nostrils. They get so red when you're blowing your nose. So what I do is I just take, um, I'll go all over the, down the center of the nose too. I will just kind of take the concealer with me and maybe take some Q-tips. So. As you're blowing your nose, like if you're going to school or you have to go to work or you're not feeling well, um, just kind of take them to touch up that red nose from blowing your nose all day long. I'm going to wash my hands again. I'm taking M16, which is um, a little darker than my natural match color, but I'm just, see how I just kind of drew that on the side of my face? This is just going to like kind of give me cheekbones and a little bit of bronzing color. So I will just kind of blend that in with my finger. And this is just going to give a little bit of like color and life back to your face that probably looks a little more pale and sick. And then if you want to, you can do this outer like right where the arch is. And it kind of looks like you put, you have eyeshadow on, but you don't. It's just adding kind of a... Then what you can do is take powder and wherever you feel your face is like oily or shiny, you can put a little powder. You can just kind of dab this all over. I'm just going to get the eyelids because that's usually where it will get creasy or oily and the forehead. When you've been sick, um, you always want to make sure that you wash all of your brushes after you're done. So your powder brushes, eyeliner brushes, anything that touched your face while you had germs or blowing your nose, you're getting like extra germs all over, make sure you wash them. And then another thing that I love is the Beauty So Clean. It's the cosmetic sanitizer and you can go to beautysoclean.com to get this. This is amazing. I use this on everything because you can spray it on lipsticks, you can spray it on, I will show you. Kills, go to the website, you'll see like it kills so many different bacteria, virus, all kinds of things that are on your makeup. So 
You definitely want to use this on lip liners. They have little wipes that you can wipe lipsticks with and the little wipes you wipe eyeliners with. And it works much better than people just trying to like sharpen it because then all you did was put the germs all over the sharpener and it probably just spread them around so whatever else you sharpen can get traces of those germs back on it. So like if you have a cream, you can just spray it like that and then you just let it sit. It'll kill all the bacteria on there. You can do this with your brushes also. You can spray it on the brushes. Um, you can even spray it on powders like your powder eyeshadow. Like we'll just give a mist and spray that and it'll kill all the bacteria on there. So beauty so clean that's awesome especially if you're sick you want to use that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put mascara on. So I'm going to curl my lashes. It'll make them look really pretty and fancy and we'll curl both of these and then you'll put your mascara and um, if you're really worried, you can just throw your mascara out when you've gotten well. And I'm just going to put a few coats of this. Do the bottoms and the tops, both sides of the lashes. And then I don't really ever feel like putting lipstick or lip liner or anything bright or colored on my mouth because when you're blowing your nose, it comes off on the tissue or whatever. So um, I got this at the drugstore the other day, and I really like it. It's the Revlon. Um, the Color Burst Lip Butter. This is in Sugar Frosting, and it's just kind of like the texture of a chapstick with a little bit of color in it. So I'm going to put this on, and it's just really pretty. So another fun thing when you're not feeling very well is I like to wear like a bright color, where if you wear like a white or a gray or a cream, it's just going to make you look extra washed out and drained of all color. So I wear this hot pink kind of shirt, so it'll feel like a little blossoming flower in the garden of my feeling sickness day. Just putting gel or liquid eyeliner, any kind of eyeliner just seems so gross when I'm sick. My hands are cold and my face is so hot. This feels wonderful. Um, like a lipstick, but a light texture of a chapstick or lip balm kind of. So this is in sugar frosting. And it's just light and sheer and early and moisturizing. So I just put that on for a little bit of color. Um, they have brighter colors, but for me, I don't like the brighter colors because I'm blowing my nose all day long and it's going to get smeared and messed up with tissues and clean. Um, just drink lots of water to help flush everything out. So rest and you will feel better in no time and you'll be back to wearing whatever you want. And um, to everybody that's sick, I hope you feel better. I hope you get better soon. And we will see you in the next video. Big hugs and lots of mugs of tea from my room to yours. Bye.